Hey there, and welcome back to Transformers War for Cybertron. Now, for this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up both War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron to use TexMod. So let's just get to it. Okay, to get it all started, we need to first locate where our War for Cybertron game files are stored, which is typically under Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, War for Cybertron. Now that we're here, we're going to want to head to Binaries, where we'll find the War for Cybertron EXE. So, what we're going to want to do is rename it to TWFC2, right? Now, after you've done that, bring a copy of TextMod into your Binaries folder, and rename it to TWFC. And that will make it so that whenever you launch War for Cybertron from Steam, you'll launch TextMod instead. So just to show you, if you launch War for Cybertron from Steam, it loads TextMod, just like it should. So now, we need to browse to where the actual War for Cybertron EXE is. And it's already there for me by default, but you might have to browse on your own, but... Just head to the Binaries folder, you'll find it, and then select TWFC2, and your TextMod is fully set to go. However, if you're going to want to be playing Fall of Cybertron with TextMod as well, you're going to want to hold up a sec, because there's an additional step you're going to want to take. But first, let's set up Fall of Cybertron for TextMod, just like we did with War. Head to the Binaries folder, rename TFOC to TFOC2, paste in another copy of TextMod, and rename that to TFOC. And your Fall of Cybertron is now set for TextMod. However, as I said, there is a critical step you must take after doing this. You see, for some reason, setting up Fall of Cybertron to use TextMod will cause the game to use save data from where War for Cybertron save data is stored. And as such, will potentially cause a corruption to all of your save data. Now, I have a way around this. First, you're going to want to head to the Trans Game folder, and then Save Data. This is where all your current Fall of Cybertron data is stored. You're going to want to select all this and copy it. Then, you're going to want to head to your Documents folder, your My Games folder, where you'll then find the Transformers folder, click that, and then Transgame, where you'll find the logs and save data. That is where your War for Cybertron save data is stored. Now, like I said, playing Fall of Cybertron with TextMod will cause Fall to save here. So, to get around this, you're going to want to create a new folder called FOC. Paste your FOC save data here. Now, after you've done that, hit inside the save data folder, copy all of these files, and make a new folder called WFC, and paste all of those files in there. This will safely back up all of your save data. Now, let's say you want to play Fall of Cybertron, right? Well, what you would do is take all of these files from your FOC folder and paste them in your save data folder. Don't worry about Checkpoint 01, FOC doesn't use it. After you've done this, you can launch FOC and your save data will be completely fine. However, if you try to launch War after doing this, you'll see this. So after you're done playing Fall of Cybertron, take your files inside the save data folder out and paste them back into the FOC folder. That way you save your progress. Now if you want to play War after playing Fall of Cybertron, take your WFC files and paste them into the save data folder. And that's it! Now, yes, you will have to do this each time you want to play a different game, but at least your save data will be kept intact. And you are now set to fully launch TextMod in both games! And since you're likely going to be playing this alongside the high res mod, I just have one thing to say. Do not, for all the love that is holy and good, put all the high res mods on at once. Do not do that! TextMod cannot support it, and it is completely unnecessary. You only really need high res mods for the characters you are going to be playing as. Everyone else is loaded high res by default. Try to keep it to a limit of at least five, maybe. 
and make sure that's only for the characters you want to play as in your session. Otherwise, TextMod is going to crash, because it cannot handle that many. So don't do it! But with that out of the way, I think we've fully covered this tutorial. Hopefully that answered all of your questions, and it has set you all up for future mod releases. But that'll do it for this video. I will see you in whatever's next. Later.